There's a couple of flutes I finished recently. Um, they're made out of uh, acrylic glass, uh, so it's uh, artificial glass, uh, not a crystal glass. But it breaks if you knock it on the table or something. Um, and I've shattered quite a few, well, a few, uh, while trying to make this. So I uh, successfully finished a couple of glass flutes this summer. Here they are. This, um, the first one I made is a Gaina flute, the Andean type. This is, uh, I believe, I'm not sure if they call these low gainers a mama gainer or something. Not quite sure. Uh, but this is um, this is very low scale. Uh, the root note is C, uh, one below the middle C. So it's pretty low. Uh, I used a power tool to grind. Uh, the matte surface here as a decoration, but I'm not sure if it was such a good idea. It doesn't look as good as I thought on a transparent um, pipe. It uh, goes as a spiral uh, around the flute. Um, perhaps I just sandpaper this and make it surface matte. So just as I did with this flute. This is completely sandpaper. I think this would look so much better. This is side blown flute. As you can see there is the blow hole and the wine bottle cork here as a wind, uh, the plug, wind plug here. And you can see exactly what's going on in there. Uh, that's how close I think it's uh, best to be, the blow hole. And it's diatonic, so there's the six uh, finger holes. Uh, let's see if I can play it. <laughs> I don't play much. A sign blown flute. comfortable with <laughs> side blown flutes but I I gotta have to play them when I tune them. Just wanted to make make a couple. And here's the end blown Gaina flute that I showed you first. Uh, I think this is a little bit more even more difficult to play the embouchure and everything. Let's see how it goes.
So that works as a kind of like a Zen flute, meditation flute or something.